Good morning, this is my Shaman Oracle reading and today I like to finish up reading for Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius and Pisces. And I finally reached the end and this reading here is for Pisces. Welcome Pisces. First card for you is called Fulfillment. Relating to the laden peach tree. And do you love peaches, Pisces? If you do, then we have something in common because I do love peaches. I think they taste delicious. So the peach tree blossoms early and because of this, it is often a symbol of spring and the renewal of life. It is also the Chinese symbol of a happy marriage and of fertility. And in some traditions, the peach tree stands for immortality. Ripe peaches, they are also portent fertility, fecundity and create fulfillment. And in the Korean tradition, the peach represents happiness, riches, honors, and longevity. In the Renaissance, the peaches represented the heart and love, and speaking the truth from one's heart. The sacred landscape wants you to know fulfillment is at hand for you. No matter what is occurring in your life, put your attention on what is splendid, pleasurable and luscious. Find bliss in each moment. Love fully, deeply and without hesitation. Cherish your friendships and fill your life with people, experiences and places that give you delight. Let go of people and things that do not feel empowering and that drag your energy down. You no longer need to put the needs of others ahead of your own needs. So if you have had any health issues, a ripe peach represents a return to better health. Savor your life with gusto and with grace. Experience and embrace life in all its permutations. And if you want to conceive a baby, or a new project, or start a new relationship. This card is an excellent omen for a great outcome. Next card is the Aspen Spirit, and it relates to courage. In the forest, you can hear the whispering of the trees in the aspen grove. Your awareness sinks beneath the surface and you sense the aspen's network of roots which allows each tree to connect with the rest of the aspen grove. This connection also makes them a single organism united at a soul level that can live for thousands of years. If the Aspen Spirit card comes up in your reading and is showing up in your life today, it brings a message of courage, protection, community and the ability to face and overcome obstacles in life. Know that you are protected and that you are safe. 
you are ready to step forward with courage and grace, no matter what seems to be blocking your way. The Aspen's network of roots is a sign that you should be open to support from others. Combine your effort with like-minded individuals. You do not need to do it all alone. This may be a good time to bond with people over a creative project or a community endeavor. In Celtic tradition, the Aspen was associated with community, endurance, and protection. The Celtic people, they chose the wood of the Aspen tree to make their battle shields to protect them from spiritual as well as physical harm. In sheltered, it sheltered the soul from its deepest fears because the Aspen was thought to be the teacher of fearlessness and carried a message of strength in facing the unknown. So the spirit of the Aspen says to you, the energy of your inner spiritual warrior is ready to step forward to face any challenges or blockages in life. Be willing to accept help and be fearless. Next card is called Fertility. And the Fertility card is about manifestation of growth that is on the horizon for you. You are the creator and the seeds that have been planted in the past, whether they were happiness, comfort, abundance, prosperity, family, children, ideas, or even thoughts, they are now ready to give birth into your world. So be patient as you watch your seeds take root and grow. Nurture the seeds as they become strong and healthy. Open yourself to the life force of the universe is the message. This card also represents femininity and the Mother Earth who is calling to you. The arms of her beauty, they are reaching out. She wants to embrace you on her seashores, mountains, forests and gardens. So go to her and meet her halfway. Acknowledge that the same energy that makes up the heavens, earth, plants, animals, and mineral kingdom is also a part of you. So start nurturing yourself and infuse your soul with love and compassion. Soon others will see and feel your devotion. As you interact with others around you now, or even if you are in the midst of solving a problem, Use gentle care and kindness as you handle such situations. This isn't a time for you to be inconsiderate, possessive, domineering, forceful or pushy. Act from the loving space of your heart center. The benevolent energy that resides there will assist you in making sacrifices in order to care for and help others as well as yourself. The traditional tarot archetype to this card is the Empress. Next card is 
traveler, and the traveler is the move in a new direction. Message here is to welcome any opportunities to travel, either to the outer world or to your inner world. The traveler card represents the gypsy spirit within the opportunity to move in a new direction is coming your way and ancestral wisdom is encouraging you to become it with open arms. Going on a trip is an exciting process because not only do you learn about the world, you also learn about yourself. So this card often comes up when you have a chance to go through a process of awakening and understanding even more about the amazing qualities that you have to share with the world. Often such journeys can be lonely, but this is in itself teaching you that you are never really alone and your angels and ancestors are there for you. There is an extended message here. The road you are on may be the road less traveled, but this journey is going to be highly beneficial for your emotional and spiritual growth. If it doesn't about If it isn't about covering outer distances, it is about covering the distance within and you will be evolving every single moment of it. Remember to keep things simple and to lighten your load because that will make your journey more enjoyable. You are also being encouraged to see how far you have come and how you have really grown as a person because this recognition will support you in going even further. And there is a good chance that along the way you will make new friends who will become companions for a lifetime and the last card is the wild unknown animal spirit card and out came the turtle and i was called a turtle by one of my managers back in florida she was from india and she one time turned to me and said my turtle And at a time, well, I was kind of insulted, to tell you the truth, because I thought she was telling me that I was slow and not doing a good job. Well, I was not spiritually very, very advanced at a time. And later on, I realized what she had said to me. The turtle is the water energy, the turtle is an ancient soul, the turtle is grounded, is trusting, and of all things, the turtle is at home in the self. It is wonderful to be in the presence of a turtle personality, like the beaver, The turtle has a strong relationship with the earth and water elements simultaneously. So this helps to ground and connect the turtle to the deeper truth of life, no matter where their travels lead them. Turtle energy is behind all great writers and storytellers as they collect life experiences under their shells for a later use. The most potent 
Turtle energy helps us close all the other books and begin to tell our own true tale. So when in balance the turtle card is about peaceful, adventurous and productive life experiences and when out of balance you need to slow down and come to a halt and to bring into balance both of them you need an adventure and yeah i need adventure myself so that was the reading for pisces i do thank you pisces for listening and <clears throat> easter is coming up pretty soon and in case you celebrate it i do wish you a wonderful easter season celebration with friends and loved ones take care and goodbye